everyone. My name is Daniel Jabez with a hyphen over the E to, to, to the right hall. And today, as you can see from the title and from what you're viewing currently, wow, there's me. Oop, yes. <laughs> um, um, I'm going to do a quick tour slash review of the 2019 Mercedes-Benz AMG GLE 43 Coupe or Coupe as I like to call it. Now, this car is everything you could want anymore. I mean, I don't know what other way you could put it. I could literally list all of the features and all of the great things about it in this moment right here, but I think maybe I'll do a voiceover because I mean, there's so many, but right now I just want to tell you that people catch colds. A lot of people catch colds, but the only thing you'll catch with this car is eyes and looks. Now, this option is $80,000, but you can always customize it up to $120,000. Um, this is black, obviously, as you can see. It looks very great, comes in multiple colors, such as silver, and I believe there is a lighter gray tint color. This particular model is completely um, fantastic, I mean, what other way to describe it? As you can see, you got your very high, 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 high performance headlights that definitely turn as you move the wheel, steering wheel. <clears throat> your daytime running lights up there. You got your parking sensors. You have your um, front grille fascia, which is just beautiful. Huge, humongous Mercedes Benz emblem right there. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys around now. Up here, as you can see, there's these grills, which are actually real on some cars. They will just be there. You know, they're not actually functioning. They don't have like a open space for them, but those are actually real. Um, it's the great thing about Mercedes. Everything is always gonna be high quality and up to par. As you can see right here, it says buy turbo formatic. That means it's high performance um, for those who are more advanced and know things of that tech they already know but for my average viewer just know that it's very high performance this car i don't know how to explain it other than to say it's absolutely a beast it's incredible um like i said i'm gonna have to put more detail over a voiceover or maybe at the end of the video for those who want specific information or specs you know i also add them in the description but for the average viewer this car is i mean really i don't it's talked about, but I don't think it's talked about enough. It's absolutely amazing and phenomenal. It's very fast. Um, it's powerful. It's not like one of those cars that's, you know, expensive and there's nothing to it once you, you know, get into it more. This car is giving you things to expect and discover every day and it never gets old. You know, it's very much uh, an amazing car. I'm going to show you guys on the outside here as best as I can, just to show you a good, quick outside tour. Doesn't have the um, easy fuel, but that is all right. As you can see, you have nice turn signals on the mirrors, and everything is just overall nice and high quality. So, right now, we're gonna go ahead and go on the inside. Now, I have the key fob out here with me, of course, it's keyless into of course of course um it's very nice it's chrome the size as you can see now this car does not feature auto start start but it's okay because it does start up quick so if you do want to lock the car without being in there of course there's a little indentation right here which you can just rest your hand on and then it'll lock now it's not going to lock right now because i have the car on but of course we can turn the car off and then i'll show you that it will lock out here but so let's say for instance you get out blah blah, blah. You don't want to go in and press your lock button all the way inside just go ahead and hold right there on the end end and it's locked and you know it's very easy you know go away and as you can see the mirrors do go in and then they greet you once again if you come back so it's very simple very easy let's go ahead and get in now as you can see the material of this car is 
mostly tie match. I mean, come on, we're talking about Mercedes here. You have carbon fiber, which for those who don't know is a light material. It very much saves weight and it's very nice. Looks great in the car as well. You have this leather right here, you know, more harder leather down here, but this soft touch leather looks very nice. Not sure how that would do over time, but um, you know, we'll have to see. There's um, rigid indentations on that lock handle. You do have your settings up here instead of on the side of the driver's seats because um, I guess, you know, they figure it's easier, which I know I'm kind of getting used to it. I'm so used to having, you know, doing it on the cars on that I'm doing it on the side of the seat for so long that, you know, I just got used to putting it down there, um, adjusting it down there. But so far on here, you have your mirror lock all of your window controls, your mirror controls, blah, blah, blah. Then you can manually fold your mirrors in or out. Oh, that's gonna come, but that's what that is. That is the trunk button. A lot of people don't know that this car does have a trunk button. People always look for it around here, but no, the trunk button is right there on the door, which is cool, and it looks like a handle, which is cool. Now, the great thing about this AMG version of cars, you know, Mercedes-Benz has their regular versions, and then they have an AMG version of the car. Um, you do get a lot of AMG branding, you know, so people will not forget that this is an AMG car. Period! And, you know, the, all this chrome, everything is just so fantastic and nice, and everything is wonderful, 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 wonderful. There's so much to talk about. Um, there is the Harman Kardon speaker system. You got the whole speaker. If you do not know, Harman Kardon is like one of the top speaker producers, and of course, it sounds fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this seat really quick because it's a little close for me. So now we're in the cabin, and as you can see, they do have red lights at the bottom, which is interesting um, because you know, if you leave your door open or something, that'll make it easier for it to be seen. But here in the cabin, I mean, I cannot convey enough how fantastic this car is. I can't convey it enough. You have to see and experience it for yourself. It's beautiful. It's cozy. It's comfort, comforting. It's high quality. It's top luxury. It's very exquisite, as I would say. It's high quality. It's luxury. A little dusty here, but, you know, that can easily be cleaned off. Everything is nice. You have so many different materials from your soft touch, your hard touch leather to carbon fiber to soft touch leather to your stitching to your uh, more rigid dimpled leather. I believe that's called um, to your white stitching. You may switch up here to this piano veneer. It's just everything is so nice and high quality and whoa, just expensive. Um, now, um. I would say that this car is probably one of Mercedes-Benz's best cars just because it's all around wonderful. Now, um, as far as I can say, it's everything is just amazing. I would say that, um, I'm going to show you right now, the operating system is a little clunky. Now, I'm just going to give you a quick, unbiased, little quick tour of it. So first of all, down here you have your... Uh, do a little quick tour down here you have your um, knob to control up here or you can use this computer functioning way which is to swipe as you would on like a computer keyboard a uh, computer little square on a laptop um, like I said you have all your seat controls up there lock and unlock your door handle there's a light in there with it's a, the difference between this light and the light under here later as you can see it's just a blue tint um, you've got your vents up there nice soft padding up here you got your airbag here it is oops something up there i'll use this one um visor look at yourself light is up there which is interesting we we'll definitely prefer for the light to be on here but that's all right credit card holder um all of your reading lamps the stuff is up here and i'm let this sun visor speak for itself guys come on look how wide that is you have a beautiful open view of the sun and everything and the light is just letting in and it's back there it looks even more beautiful it just gives the car an immersive ride and feel 
Now, the rest of the things you have up here, as I close that, is your glasses holders. There's me in the mirror looking absolutely fantastic, as I should. You have a bunch of garage settings up here because of course people buy this car might, might have multiple houses, as they should. Um, you have your SOS up here, a lot of a lot of functioning, everything in here, you know, you could imagine is already up here. Now, um, as far as the infotainment system, you do have this first normal, uh, regular viewing, you know, the regular area, and then you have this up here in the center screen. You can do various things with your entertainment, such as connect your Bluetooth device. As you can see, I pause my music, but if I press this back button, you can go to the radio, check out the navigation. Um, as you can see, you have even more settings right here. If we go back, you can see that we can even go to the vehicle settings. You have the telephone, you have the destination settings as far as the navigation. But when you switch to different, you know, individual Yo, topics, whoa there, you have <laughs> different individual topics, then you have different individual settings. As you can see, if I go here, it'll go to different options at the bottom at this bottom row see it was preset all of that stuff and then the navigation it had different options such as um options traffic position and destination and then if we go all the way over to vehicle you have a lot of settings a lot of information lies here um i apologize for the dust by the way guys um you know as i continuously wipe it off with a microfiber cloth it you know the dust just comes back it keeps attracting um <laughs> as far as that, you know, you have your regular information in your infotainment system. Of course, this is a high quality, high brand luxury vehicle. So you have many options. You can see a live 360 camera of the whole area above from a bird's eye view and then your surroundings and you can change the view as you please. Very intuitive. Love that. Um, if we go back, you can see that. We have consumption information, operator's manual, the time. Now, something very cool about this car is if you go to vehicle settings, you have all of these cool things. Like for example, the ambient light color. You can change the color of your door handles and I believe it'll be various places in the cup holders and stuff. And that was the thing I did have to mention. Um, the color here is polar, right? And you know, you can change the different color, which will change the color under there. You can see I can switch it. There we go, it changes automatically. But for some reason that is unknown to me right now, the under color of the door handle does not change, neither does the cup holder. Now, maybe I have to do some more searching in the settings to figure out why, but there you have it. But yes, you can change the color, which is only three colors, but that is all right, because you can change it somewhat. Now, this locator lighting is very cool. Um, at nighttime, it will project the Mercedes-Benz logo at the bottom of your door, which is very, very cool. Um, like I said, guys, there's so many features in this car. There's so many features to talk about. I just wanted to make a quick little video. But, um, yeah, you have all of these different car settings. Um, and as far as that, as the entertainment system, um, you can go ahead and turn the display off as you please, you know, if you don't want to be distracted. And that's that. And also you have some of the similar features as you do in the center part. Um, you know, you can do various things over here as well, like show your miles and show your music and all of that stuff. It's very helpful, I have to say, it's very helpful. Now the navigation will show you the direction you're heading, but it will not show you the actual navigation field. And um, by the way, if I have any experts watching this video right now, if I do have anything wrong, correct me. You know, we all have to help each other learn. Um, as you can see from my older videos, I have done videos before where I've been corrected. <clears throat> and that's all right, okay? There's miles per hour, gonna leave it at that, which is nice. You have all of these different kind of settings. Um, all down here, you do have your radio selection, media selection, all of that stuff. This is very helpful because this is to mute. You also have it on the steering wheel. Um, because when you're driving, there's a lot going on, especially driving a very high performance car. There's a lot going on and you'll need to mute something. This is the voice control. Cancel. Cancel. 
okay that's that um you know voice control i'm not sure who really uses it maybe i might remove that at some point um there's the in and call button you have your keypad over there you know you connect your phone of course there's all of those features for you um drivers heated seat passengers heated seat you have your auto start stop function if you want to turn that off i would never turn it off i mean you know they give people an option i guess to have people have a variety but you know it's very helpful it does save a lot of gas so i would suggest keeping it on i believe this is your traction control um and then your parking sensors to turn that on and off down here is all your climate controls very helpful you know you've got all of the neat stuff that you usually have um they still have these knob style turners whereas you know you know different modern cars have um, sliders or manual th um <clears throat> screen you know all those touch screen things they still have their traditional knobs now in this little area you slide back you guys can see that it has a heated cooled and heated cup holder which is absolutely phenomenal i mean really that is absolutely phenomenal i mean really that is absolutely phenomenal i mean really that is absolutely phenomenal think about how many cars have and don't have a heated and cooled cup holder i remember that you know i used to always imagine like what if they could be able to cool the cup holders and now they can do that so that's really awesome like i say you have your different options to select the infotainment system with um over here you have your raising and lowering the vehicle um i believe that's heel descent control where if you are going down a hill it will allow the car to slow down at a varied rate this is to show you what mode you're in you press that button and it shows you automatically up there sorry about the blur um and then i believe this is the manual button to turn on the manual sport wow excuse the ash guys um have various buttons down here and then this is all of your five different modes you have your individual mode which is i believe to help with uh bumpy roads of course um no i did not look at that squiggle and assume that was a bumpy road this is a comfort setting which is the one that is most used normally um then you have your sport plus setting your sport setting first and then your sport plus setting which are both very good and very keen in what they do except the sport plus is like really for the high performance you know the sport tunes up the suspension all of that stuff you know the steering wheel gets a little tighter and then sport plus is just like okay everything is going to be absolutely what it is um so far we spent so much time up here like i said there's still so many features to go through i hope i got most of them in though um as you can see that was the bumping of the horn um carbon fiber over there um everything is just high quality here's the center space open that for you guys not too much storage actually um you know but i guess you won't really need that much storage in this car probably be uh more busy anywhere speeding now we'll go ahead and take a look at the back and as you can see that is the blind spot monitor warning system also i forgot to talk about that which is very cool the steering wheel will actually vibrate if you go out of a lane for that lane detection lane detection monitoring system Guys, this is what i was talking about with the lane monitoring see it'll definitely slow the car down and it'll beep and the steering wheel just vibrate it let's do that again crossing over to the lane beep, beep, beep. slows down that's so cool. right so everything is not too different in the back more of a very relaxed cool experience i'm very short i'm about five four so i mean everything's fine back here for me um this light you cannot turn on it'll turn on by itself um you know whenever whatever setting you have up there for the door to open blah blah you do have a coat hanger right there if you need it there are indents in the seats for people's knees or for those long travels with many people in the back some storage space handle doorknob speaker system is absolutely phenomenal 
I'm gonna just continue to go through various things with this car, guys. I mean, it's really awesome. I wanted to do just a various things tour for you guys. Um, you do have climate control right here. Um, I believe this is some more storage space. Yes, indeed. You have cup holders right here in the center, as you do with various cars. Nothing too special about these. Very uh, simple laid back. Um, and down here, you do have a 12 volt power outlet for those days that you need to charge um, for long rides. Now, I wanted to mention it when I was back here. As you can see, if you look a little closer, that's that black bar up there. That black bar and this black bar is very keen in helping you because the black bar up there lets you know what's in front of you as far as what you're about to hit or what's on your side around you, which is very cool. If it's on this side, the right red lights will light up. If it's on that side, the red lights will light up. It's very cool. Um, that's all a part of that huge, amazing, very, very, very innovative, I mean, absolutely exquisite um, whole sensory car recognizing what other cars are doing around it system. <laughs> This one back here, of course, you look in the mirror, you know, you'll be able to see it and it'll still reflect what's on each side. Now, it's very comfortable back here. Um, for long travels, I wouldn't be so sure because, you know, it's kind of uh, not really grabbing you as far as sitting in the seat, but it's pretty nice and it's pretty cool for what it does. Um, very cozy back here. As you can see with the seats, you can fold the seats down or put them back up depending on whatever is happening and um, it's very helpful because if you do need traveling space or whatever the case might be, want to communicate with someone who's sitting in the trunk, you'll be able to do that. Um, I believe that's everything in the back seat. Let's go ahead and take a look at the trunk. Now verifying that the car is off, you can actually hold the trunk button, not press hold to open it up and it will present to you. Wow, that was me. And as you can see, there is plenty trunk space, have 80 bottles of water in the back and there's plenty, plenty, plenty more room for everything else. Now it is kind of cramped as far as sideways, but everything else is much more space needed as far as how the car looks in the back because it is kind of squished. As you can see, you have a speaker and a 12 volt power outlet, and there is a spare tire under, and then you have a first aid kit from Mercedes, of course. Very nice chrome that's already laminated, has been removed yet, but it's a very nice ride back here. And you can go ahead and press it, and it will close for you. And as you can see from the side, it is kind of great that it has so much space because it is a small looking car but it does have plenty of space my key fob I can definitely easily open the trunk from right here you have to hold the button you cannot press it you have to actually hold it and then it will open up for you hello wow okay. now if I pull out my key fob you can actually press the button to open the trunk after you unlock the car 
and it will open up and present for you. Hello? Now, 